Yeah. All right, guys. So I said that Justin was going to be back, and he's here. So say hi, Justin. Hey. <laughs> and he is going to share his story. Yeah, I guess I, I don't am. know. Here, scoot over a little. Oh, shoot. Um, uh. Oh, my gosh. Stop dropping oh. your sunglasses. I'm sorry. Okay, so, like this she said. This is really bad Where's camera okay. angle. Um, I'm Justin. I guess she wants to tell me my coming out story and the stuff leading to that. Um, I think the first time I realized I was gay was, I want to say 10 years old. Um, I had a huge crush on my best friend. I'm not going to reveal his name because that's not, you know, that's privacy issues yeah, and stuff like that. Let me try to like move that. this up. Ooh. Oh, oh, don't get any closer to my face. <laughs> um, oh, I want to see more of your body <laughs> the, oh, yeah. and not just a floating head. Just, <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, we were best friends for, I want to say up until my sophomore year, but anyway... It was kind of one of those deals where we, we always hung out, I always liked him, and the older we got, it was kind of harder to hang out with him because obviously when you get older, you start wanting other things, such as kissing and etc. And eventually we kind of had a falling out, but I think once we fell out and I realized how much I cared for him and how much I wanted to be with him, that was kind of like the moment saying, okay, there's no more doubts, um, I'm gay. And from then on, I just started telling people, if someone were to ask me, just in the hallway at school or just walking around town, I would just be like, yeah, I am. And it wasn't, it was hard at first to kind of admit to it, because obviously some people aren't okay with it. But the more, in, the more people I told, the easier it got. Um, and... A few of you are kind of saying, oh no, it's it's a big deal, but nowadays, it isn't. Just, I just, just be I'm yourself. I'm sorry that I keep messing with it. It's okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, but, I'll hold um, it. Uh, so, um, after I started telling more people, um, you know, like I said, it got a lot better. All of my friends were very accepting of me. I don't really think I lost people. I think I gained friends, actually, because, um... I think people actually respected me more because I was honest with them and I wasn't trying to put up a facade anymore. I was just being me, but I was really being me after okay. I... This camera's really upsetting me. <laughs> it's okay. Oh no! Uh, that happened to Darian too, it's okay. But like, I was really being me and... Oh, screw this. Bring it back up. Alright, there you go. It just kept getting better. I was on a roller coaster that only went up. And... Am I, am I going to tell them about first loves, or, like, what else should I... Whatever you want to say. Tell, um, do you want to tell about how you told your family? Oh, yeah. Um, now, I'm not saying that this happens to every, like, every family is different. Like, no family is the same. But with my family, um, they are very holy, they're very holy Roman. And, you know, I was too, and still kind of am, but, you know, obviously that's more of a personal thing, but... Anyway, um, since my family was so Christian, it was a little bit harder for me to, to tell them. And it wasn't the fact that, like, my immediate family, they weren't too hard for me to tell because, I mean, they're, they're my family. They, they were going to love me no matter what. But telling my grandparents and my aunts, uncles, etc., I think that was a little bit harder just because they kind of just had this thought of me because they, I'm... I'm not going to sound cocky, but in my family, I'm kind of like the golden child. And they always thought that I would marry some, you know, I would get married, I would have kids, I would be a very successful whatever the heck. And once they kind of, once I told them that I was gay, they, it's like their dreams for me were crushed. But that was just the perception I had at the beginning. It wasn't, once we started talking about it, and I was kind of explaining to them how how it could work, because in their minds, they just didn't understand it. But once I started to explain to them, you know, it's the same. Um, it's just, like, love is love, and if I like a man, like, I was trying to get their minds around that a man can love a man exactly the same way as a woman. It doesn't really, there's not really a difference at all. And I guess, well, it took them like a year to actually under, to fully understand but, you know, once I kind of just explained it to them, 
they kind of started seeing it my way. They were, they were um, realizing that they would rather me be happy with, you know, happy with me as a person and just happy with a guy than be unhappy with a female and not be myself. And I think every family just has to realize that about their, their gay son or their gay daughter is that it's not about them. It's, it's about their child, their relative, and it's about what they want. So I guess once they kind of stopped, you know, saying, oh, you know, he's, he's our Justin, he's our kid, and started realizing, no, he's his own person, he can do this, he, he knows what he wants, we don't know what's best for him. I think that's when they started really saying, okay, you're gay, it's okay. Um, Do you want to go into say? detail about how you like told your mom? Oh yeah. Um, the first time I told my mom I was gay was my sophomore year of high school, and surprisingly, it wasn't a big a deal as I thought it was going to be. But then again, the first few times I told her, she was kind of like, "Oh, you're just—it's a stage. It's there's no way. I mean, you don't really act, you know, gay." But, um, the first time I told her, I think we were just sitting on the couch watching Jerry Springer or something, <laughs> and, um, one of the couples on that show was gay, and I guess it was kind of like the perfect time for me to tell them. I'm just like, oh, the topic's already brought up, so I don't have to even right. do much. So, I kind of said, I sat her down, and I said, Mom, I kind of have to tell you something. And I think she already knew what I was going to say, maybe, maybe not. But I just said, Mom, um, I think I'm gay. And the think was probably not the best word to use, but, I mean, at that time I was really nervous, and it was just kind of the, the easiest way I could say it. And she's like, well, you need to think of what you're doing. And I said, well, what do you mean? And she's like, well, I mean, if you want to live this lifestyle, there are some things that you need to know. I was like, Mom, I, you know... After that, I was kind of upset. I kind of went upstairs for a little bit, then I came down. Because she was trying to, like, put me in, like, you know, categorize me, and I wasn't okay with that. But anyway, I just say, Mom, I am gay. And I know that this isn't what you were expecting, but it's, here it is. And I guess after that, we kind of had... It was rough. Um, the the year after that, my junior year, we, we were still talking about it, but it was kind of a taboo subject. But the the um, the end of my senior year it was when it was really starting to get like, okay, you guys have to understand this, um, you know. And I basically told her, you know, I love you guys, but I'm just gonna there we go, more centered. Um, I mean, I can't just live, like, I can't just not be myself around you guys. Like, if I'm going to get a boyfriend, I want to be able to bring them around around the house and introduce you guys and all that jazz. But she just, was, she still wasn't getting it. Um, my dad, he was, just gonna jump to my father. My father, he was kind of in the whole, um, it's an abomination thing. Um, he gave me a few Christian talks. Can I move the golf cart real quick? Oh, yeah, sure. Alright. And, uh, but I think my dad actually came to terms with it quite quicker than she did. But anyway, back to, to mom. Um, I basically told her, you know, once I'm out of the house, you know, and I'm an adult, I don't want to stop talking to you guys. Like, I do not want to have to put on this act anymore that there's hope that I'm straight. So you guys can either accept that, or, you know, I don't have to... I don't have to talk to you. I will always love you, but th there's just no obligation of me having to be around if you guys will not accept this part of my life. And once I told her that, I think that's when it finally clicked. She was finally like, okay, my son's gay. And from then on, it was... It's gotten a lot better. Um, we openly talk about the subject. Um, not nitty-gritty, of course, but 
you know, if I tell her, oh, you know, that, that guy in, in the line at the supermarket, he's kind of cute, and mom, mom, she'd look over and she'd be like, yeah, I can see it. And, you know, it just, I really just can't ex ex explain how good it feels to, you know, to talk like that with your parents, to just be open with them about everything. Because I never had that when I was younger. So having it now, after I've wanted it for so long, it's just, I don't know, it's just a really good feeling. So, so um, it gets better. Yeah, I, it always gets better. I mean, it just does. Once you're honest with yourself, you're honest with your family. Hi. Um, you're honest with just everyone around you. You're on a roller coaster that only goes up. And I think that's kind of how I am right now, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm about ready to go off to college. Um, I'm really looking forward to, you know, meeting more people, seeing their viewpoints, maybe getting a boyfriend. I don't know. I'm... But yeah. And how you have the friends at college? Yeah, um, actually, um, I, I don't think people understand that, especially in colleges, it's so easy to come out. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially with our generation right now. Um, I actually I have two gay fraternities looking at me right now, and it's um, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it kind of is. I mean, I I kind of don't like to be materialized. Right. But you know, it just kind of it's good to feel that there are other guys out there, or you know, other gays out there that understand your situations. They they get your life, and it's just I don't know. It's good. Like I'm not very good at talking. I feel right. like I'm just going in circles, but. Yeah, I mean, it always gets better. So, it may seem scary at first, but once you do it, it's just you feel so much better. I, like, you really do. But I think that's kind of all I have to say, really. I mean, all just, right. yeah. All right, guys. So, <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was all we got for you. That was Justin's story. And like I said, it's our first time hearing it as well as yours. So it took a lot for him to share that. Yeah. So <laughs> they can't see you. I know. All right, guys. Bye.